So you, you mentioned that Germany right now sure. you know, has had trouble getting off of Russian gas. And yes. part of that is because they shut down all of their nuclear plants. Yes. Um, you said that the technology isn't there to pivot away from fossil fuels, but uh, it is possible to power the country on nuclear, solar, and wind right now. The technology does exist, and wind and solar are actually as cheap or cheaper than fossil fuels right now. Do you think that mm. you know, pivoting to these technologies, including nuclear technology, uh, is a way forward rather than fossil fuels? Well, thing one I would say is that wind and solar is only cheap, if you will, because of government subsidy. If you remove government subsidy, they're not cheaper than natural gas or, fossil or oil. It's just not. That's not what the economics say. Because of the amount of subsidies that governments provide, we do it, the Germans do it. I mean, basically every country in the world, probably save China and Russia do it. Um, I don't think Iran does either. But most of the countries of the world are subsidizing, you know, through taxpayer money. That's saying, okay, well, we know the cost is X, so we're going to pump in Y, so now the cost is Z. That's what's happening. I think that nuclear power, we should fully embrace it. The one thing that the French have done well is that the French did not give up their nuclear plants, even though Germany did. And Germany was wrong. And I think Germany, unfortunately, is dealing with the consequences of that action right now because they've left themselves open to Russian influence in their politics in their country, which is a bad place to be. In the United States, we should definitely be embracing nuclear power. If you really want to get off of fossil, forget, I'm going to separate them. If you want to get off of oil, and the dominance of oil with respect to electric generation. Because for all the people who want electric cars, I always ask, where do you get the electricity from? Well, you get it from burning oil and natural gas, primarily in the United States, where most of it comes from, and we still burn coal to a degree. If you want to get to that green future, you have to embrace nuclear power. Nuclear power, frankly, is the grid, is, is the bridge, excuse me, to getting to that green renewable uh, uh, future. But the, but the Democrats don't even want to mention nuclear power. I was in a hearing yesterday. We were talking about zero emission standards for electrifying the Postal Service. And so I asked one of the witnesses whose group is the Zero Emissions, I think, Transportation Association. And so I asked them, I said, okay, you're a Zero Emissions Association. Has your group, do you have an opinion on advanced nuclear reactors? He said, no. I said, so how are you a Zero Emissions Association, but you have no opinion on advanced nuclear reactors, which have zero emissions? Actually, their carbon footprint is less than solar panels or windmills, if you take into account building the entire thing. So we have to get past that dogma and get to the reality about energy policy and what actually is going to work. 